Hello you guys, it's like Panda Guy here and welcome back to another Roblox video. So today we are playing something that's um, of a game that was just uh, recommended while well, I was just searching through Roblox and it isn't a exactly a big popular game but it looks so cool to, f to find, um, well to find this. Um, I've went through this before, um, before I was recording, uh, I was exploring around the place getting familiar with. So this game is called Arcade Island. So this game is, it's like, it's, it's like a role play area, but it's based on an arcade and it is quite big. I got to say, I, I haven't actually explored around the outside of the city. I've explored the inside though, um, just to, just the arcade area but there's quite a lot to see oh my gosh especially when this game doesn't have a high um like a few count or something or visit count um it just looks so cool obviously the buildings may look a bit you know a little bit blurry and stuff but doesn't really matter i really i really like this very much it's mainly where you know everyone will just hang around around there okay so we've got the aquarium um and also you you gain um credits and stuff i think from when you win from uh arcade machines so i think i got about 100 credits um oh un yeah i start off with a hundred chips and 200 tickets and one boost um, everyone's got one boost and I've got zero rewards because I haven't actually been on an arcade machine yet so let's take you to it there's quite a lot to see on here but I don't think I will go exactly all over the place from the studio because it looks pretty big to just you know to cover everything but if you guys have Roblox and you're interested to check this game out I'll be linking this in the description down below um, if you're like an arcade fan, then I, you know, I think you will like this very much. This is kind of like reminding me of Koala Calf, this sort of role play. It just does because there's a lot to explore in that. So you have two pads here, uh, reds for exit and uh, green is for entering, where if you're spending um, chips. So they got like Keymaster, they got other arcade machines there. And they always bring a bit of realism to the sounds that when you see these arcade machines in real life, they just add them on here. We've got shoot ball, uh, we've got uh, laser challenge, uh, super stack. Oh, this is stacker. Uh, who wants to win tickets? Uh, Jackpot. Okay, I think it requires a lot of players for this one. You also got a little calf here which is really nice um, I'll go through that later um, and you got more of our arcade machines here you got this big fish wheel oh my gosh um, there's no claw machines I don't think I don't think there is any I'm not sure if there's like a part 2 arcade somewhere or this is just the whole arcade itself it would be great if you have um, claw machines on here that would be so cool because they're like one of my favourite arcade machines all the time i know lots of people hate them but i personally like them despite if they're rigged or anything i i just i just find it satisfying when i win something from the claw machine um how much is big fish wheel um click here to play again uh okay and i press this What do I get? Oh. Oh. Ah, oh, I got 40. Okay. So I'm getting 40 tickets from somewhere. Um, it's not shown on the um, screen right here. But hang on. Hang on a minute. So. Uh. So all these arcade machines are free then. Um. Okay. 
Okay, I have my card there, so it doesn't take my credit. Alright, pull to start. So it doesn't even take my credit. Okay, so does that mean I can play all the machines for free? So what do I get? Fives or five hundreds? Okay, it's still going. It's still going. Oh. Oh, stop. Oh, what am I like? Oh, that was... Oh, I've got five. Okay. Alright, let's, let's just check out the calf. Uh, we can also go... We can get access to the calf by just exiting this way. Um, we've got more market machines. This is the donate chips um, stand. And this is where we can get food. This is so cool. Um, so you can just sit down and gonna chill with other people online and you've got a pool table, snooker table and some darts um, oh game pass, okay game pass access, okay so I can't get access to that one alright and and that middle bit here is probably a pass as well, the game pass we'll find out Okay. So we've got like a huge picture here. Is that meant to be a monitor or something? I don't know. It, it, it's probably just a picture. Oh, it's a slide show. Okay, so it is a monitor. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, let's explore around. Um, well, we can leave here and then we can just go to uh, the hotel. And then we can go down the stairs and... We can see what's going on, and there's a sky lounge as well, water park, that's right, there was a water park up at the top of the roof. So I've got beast suits. And there's just some food here. Um, you've got room doors, click to enter, I haven't booked myself a room, the door is locked, okay. Oh no, I will get in trouble. I didn't know. Um, right, let's get to the top. And there's more rooms as well. So unfortunately, I can't get access to these rooms cause, um, because I don't have a room yet and I'm not supposed to go into hotel rooms randomly on here. So it brings more realism. Okay, let's go to the Sky Lounge. And these footsteps though, oh my gosh, it's like this game adds so much kind of like realism, like what you expect to hear or see. Oh my gosh, this looks so nice. It looks nice when it's so dark though, like when it's, when it's night time, it just looks so nice. It's like you can party here. And this is another guest pass here, so only guests can only be yeah i can't go through it because there's barriers and i think i can't get access there because is it possible to for me to get access there or do i really need to get the pass daily ticket entrance no. access, denied. Access. access denied no oh uh, maybe that requires another pass as well oh he says oh omg i'm in um, pool tickets. Um, 500 tickets. Okay, yeah. Okay, that is pretty expensive. I don't have enough tickets. So maybe next time. Maybe next time. Um, what a surprise is that there's not many people online comparing how well there is people online, but it, this, this map is pretty, and this game itself is pretty big and it's pretty nice you know, peace and quiet, and, you know, when you've got all the space to yourself. Alright, so, let's go to the outside bit that's still attached to this building. So, click to exit. Um, 
We've got the elevator here. Um. Oh, it, oh, it takes you to the bottom. Oh my gosh, okay. You know what? I, I rarely ever use um, elevators, so we're just gonna do it. Let's just, let's just test this out. We're going down. Cause I'm lazy to walk down the stairs. There we go, okay, pretty cool, I got to say. Okay, so we've got some stands here, so up the second floor, and now we're down the bottom floor, there was ice cream, soda pop, pastries, and beast studios, developers, cookies, candies, and shakes. So let's just start with shakes first. Oh my gosh, it's like, this game has so many like categories, it's like, it's not just arcades, but there's also other things, and there's mostly things you can do to like, socialise with people on here, and you can all connect to, like you can make like, like, I don't know, like a VIP pass, and just invite as many people as you want. Um, this game only has a maximum of per server by 30 people, so yeah, if you've got like, under 30 people. 100 tickets for milkshake, um, yeah, they're just like stands, and this is, uh, candy, this is the candy store, chocolate bar, 100 tickets, so each stand gives out one thing, uh, cookies, and this over here is just saying who are the developers, and there's quite a lot of developers, i got to say, uh, six. Um, who have been working together to make this absolutely creative game, i got to say. I am pretty disappointed that this game doesn't really have a lot of visits, like, I feel like this game should be more reached out. But let's continue to the uh, second floor. Uh, yeah, we just walk around here. Okay, so we've got pastries. And they sell a slice of cake. They've got a soda pop stand with Bloxy Cola. And ice cream. And they do ice cream with the ice cream cone. And over here is the um, is the group of the creators, uh, I presume. Well, well it is, because they're both connected. So, Beast Studios, uh, before the arcade boom, uh, Beast was, was home to several self houses and completing building a loyal community and arson awesome fan base. Beast Studios with Beastie Blake 101, arcade player built small arcade games for fun and entertaining projects. After several games developed and being played, the making of the arcade universe after a rebranding. Oh, that is just it's it's quite nice to hear like like when you when creators kind of add a little bit more um like little details about themselves of their making this and that like saying like because i've been through a game before that had something similar to this because um i know it's you can rarely ever see it on games but there's some creators that add some information on the wall saying like um, I was, you know, I was bored at home and I had this idea that I could create this. Uh, me and my friend were planning to do a game together and this is what we have. So it feels great when people can just come out more, especially creators of games, uh, just to explain themselves a bit more about facts about, um, you know, how they, you know, how they had the idea to create this sort of game or how it all started that caused their idea to decide to work on this project which is the game we haven't actually been down the bottom floor um there was a bottom floor here um just click to enter it's like down the stairs here i almost forgot um i wonder what's really down there for sure Oh, go karts! Nice. Okay, that that is pretty cool. 
this is room one. This is like a chill out area. Oh my goodness. Like, if you can celebrate your birthday here, that would be just so cool. This is definitely reminding me of uh, Koala Calf. It's like quite similar to this. So let's hear a bit more about, oh yeah, game pass required. Yeah, so I can't get access to there because I don't have a game pass. Yeah, some of these require a game pass, but that's okay. Okay, so I feel like we've covered everything. I mean, there was probably some outside, but I think they're just bits of, um, you know, bits of buildings that require ha having a game pass. They weren't exactly free, but... I have to say, this game is pretty fun, it's definitely something you can, you know, hang out with your friends, maybe on Discord or something, and you will check this out, and also, when you have a special celebration going on, so it's like your birthday's coming up, and you decide to spend, you know, spend some time with your online friends by visiting a game which is fully designed to socialise and have parties. Okay, so I'm just gonna, before I end the video, I'm just gonna play, um, what's this called? Long Haul, which is, uh, it's that Miles game. And then, okay, and set my card. And we're gonna start. And it looks like we're gonna pull. We're gonna go for, let's go for a heavy spin. What do I get? What do I get? And I don't need to press a button or anything, they would just stop for me. There we go, slowing down. And I got a hundred and fifty, it looks like. Okay, so let's start, let's do this again. You also win prizes, as you, as you can see on the corner from um, cheap prizes to expensive prizes. So I think we need a hundred. Like over a hundred. I got a mystery. Awesome. Um, I'm gonna go for a medium spin this time. So a little bit less effort of a spin. The sound so it makes. Oh, welcome to Chicago. Awesome. Okay. Um, now, this is like a time that if you would rather risk it for a bar or continue. I'm just going to continue. I don't want any of those chocolate bars. You need 425 miles. Take your first spin. Um, medium. Take my next spin. Um, I'm gonna go for heavy this time. Just takes a bit of patience for when it stops spinning and for the results. Oh, I got 25. I think, I think this is my last attempt, I think. Uh, I've got a really long way. I'm hoping to get a um, bonus on this. <laughs> Hopefully I get the, um, the thousand, which is the glowy purple. Oh, you didn't make it. Better luck next time. Alright, that's, that's fine with me. Well, at least I know for sure that everything is free in this um, arcade, which feels really great. So I can play as much as I want without worrying with my credits, because as you can see, my effects have my uh, credits haven't actually 
changed that much since I've been playing these machines because this is already 100 chips and 200 credits. But I gained 5 from that, um, that machine over there. But I would have to say this game is absolutely underrated. It should really be spread out to many people and online because it's definitely a place that people should really check out. And we have many games quite similar to this. And but for an arcade one, it's pretty unique. Okay, so this is everything I got to say of this game and also that gameplay. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below what you think this video. You can leave any or question in the comments of what game to play next. It's in Roblox or answer Roblox. And if you're brand new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe. And once you subscribe, please and positive vacations, which is the bell right next to the subscribe button, so that way. You don't miss any video from me when I upload. So like I said, thank you for watching and have a good day.